Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, uh, Sin City Preacher. I think I'm going to call this video uh, Believe Defined. I'm going to attempt to give you a definition for the word believe. Now, it seems like this shouldn't even be necessary. But from time to time, I've, I've had people make a comment to me when I'm talking to them about salvation and the need to believe on Jesus and that, in fact, that believing on Jesus is the only thing you need to do. Uh, I have actually gotten the comments back occasionally, well, wh what do you mean by believe? It depends on what you mean by believe. And uh, they sometimes even ask me, well, what do you mean by believe? Define belief. And in the past, I pretty much dismissed it and answered, I can't believe you're actually asking me to define the word belief. Don't you know what believe on Jesus means? Well, I think it's uh, I reached a point where I, I better actually answer this question. It, it seems uh, um, sophomoric and so simple and obvious, but... Uh, I want to make sure that there is a clear understanding and there's no confusion and we're not uh, misusing the word uh, and misunderstanding the word believe as so many are misusing other words like, uh, for example, repent, which I've, I've covered that in the past. So uh, let's start off by just going to the dictionary. I've looked it up and I've got a couple of definitions here for the word belief. It says to have a firm religious faith. So believe and faith seem to be uh, connected or even interchangeable. It says to accept something as true, genuine or real. So far there's really no surprises here. Uh, it says in the next definition to have a firm conviction as to the goodness or efficacy that is the ability of something and the example given in the dictionary is believe in exercise um, the efficacy or the ability of, of something regarding the exercise is if you believe in exercise that means that you believe in the actual effects that you will get from exercise. It will improve your health if you exercise. And to believe in the ability or efficacy of Jesus Christ is that we believe that he is able to save us. We believe in him. He is able. And then this third definition, it says to hold an opinion, to think, I think it's true. I believe so. So it's, I, I think Jesus is my Savior God. I believe it is so. It is my opinion. Uh, the fourth definition in the dictionary is uh, to consider to be true or honest. Believe the reports. The reports, well, we find the reports in the Bible. And the Bible reports that uh, Jesus said that he came down from heaven. Uh, Jesus said that he's the Son of God. Jesus said that he and the Father are one. Jesus said that he would die for the, our sins. Jesus said that he would be raised from the dead. And the Bible reports that all these things are in fact true. Uh, he did die on the cross for our sins. Uh, he was buried on the third day. He rose from the dead. These are the, the reports in the Bible. So according to this this definition here, to consider to be true or honest, to believe the reports. So, do you believe the reports about Jesus Christ as it is reported or recorded in the Bible? Now, those are the common definitions. Uh, that's what the word believe means. And you cannot add other statements, other definitions uh, and just make it up on your own to uh, make the word believe something, believe means something other than what it really means. Now, you can use some words interchangeably. These are called synonyms. 
words that can be used interchangeably with the word believe. And the synonyms are accept, uh, I believe Jesus is my Savior, or I accept the fact that Jesus is my Savior. Savior. I credit, uh, I credit Jesus as being the Savior. Uh, I take it as a fact, take, which means I would take it as a fact that Jesus is my Savior. Trust, I, I trust that it is true that Jesus died for my sins. And some, uh, not necessarily synonyms, but uh, these are called related words. Uh, account, uh, uh, the account is true. Uh, it's, I credit it as being true. I understand this as being true. I assume it's true. I presume it's true. I suppose it's true. I conclude it's true. I deduce it's true. I infer it's true. So these are all words that can be associated either as synonyms or related to the word believe. Now, notice within the definitions of the word believe and within the synonyms and related words of believe, nowhere to be found are these following words. Believe, in the definition of believe, it does not say follow. It does not say serve. The definition does not say submit, to work, command, fruit, die, abide, strive, endure, persevere, change, repent, sorrow, contrite, remorse, disciple. None of those words are synonyms for believe. None of those words are considered related words to the word believe. And when you try to associate these words with believe, then you are lying. You are making up a totally different meaning for the word believe. Now this is important because the only thing that is required for someone to receive the gift of eternal life in heaven the only thing that is required is to believe on Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul was asked, what must I do to be saved? And Paul simply said, believe on the Lord Jesus and you're saved. Believe. So, and in John 3.16 it says, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So over and over again, we can cite verses that say, say that we must believe on Jesus, we must believe in Jesus to be saved, to receive the gift of eternal life. So we've got to understand what believe is, and we, we should not change the meaning of the word. We should not change uh, it, by adding other words that are totally unrelated, like submit, serve, endure, etc. So there are verses in the Bible that says, believe in Jesus. Believe in him. Believe in him would mean that uh, you believe in, in the person of Jesus Christ. Who is he? Believe in Jesus means that you believe that he is who he claimed to be. He is God Almighty in the flesh, the Son of God. Believing on Jesus, as Paul says in that verse, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, is like believing, believing on Jesus is, is to rely on Jesus. I rely on Jesus for my salvation. I depend on Jesus for my salvation exclusively. I accept the fact that I am helpless to save myself. I am helpless to get into heaven through joining religions, practicing religious, religious rituals, performing religious acts. I'm helpless 
hopeless except by depending entirely on Jesus Christ. Faith, the word faith is interchangeable with belief. Faith in Jesus Christ, faith on Jesus Christ. Faith means to have confidence, confidence in Jesus. Jesus promises eternal life to those who put their faith in him. And when you have faith in him, you have confidence in him. You believe he will do what he said he would do. You believe he is able to do what he said he would do. And that is give you eternal life in heaven. To have faith in him is to trust him. I trust him. In fact, if I had to just choose two words only to pronounce to the world, if I had to reduce it, my preaching down to two words and none others, it would be trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Now, another YouTuber uh, recently made a video called uh, The Warrant of Faith by Charles Spurgeon. Charles Spurgeon is uh, uh, recognized as one of the great uh, pastor preachers of the past. I believe it was 1863. He did a, a sermon called The Warrant of Faith. And uh, I've read it in the past. It's a wonderful, wonderful message. One of the greatest messages I've ever heard or read. And uh, Brother Tim, who is known as um, Trident 343 Lives, he just did, he recorded the audio uh, version of the uh, uh, Charles Spurgeon's uh, Warrant of Faith. And I just listened to that the other day. And I really believe that I've never heard anybody state this any better than Charles Spurgeon did in The War of Faith. Uh, the only one that's made it equally or better, more clear, would be the Apostle Paul in his letters uh, to the Romans, Ephesians, and Galatians. Paul made it crystal clear what believing in Jesus Christ is for salvation. But this is just a sh short paragraph from Charles Spurgeon's message. He says, believing is most clearly explained by that simple word, trust. Believing is partly the intellectual operation of receiving divine truths. But the essence of it lies in relying upon those truths. I believe that although I cannot swim, yonder friendly plank will support me in the flood. I grasp it and am saved. The grasp is faith. Thus, faith is accepting God's great promise contained in the person of his Son. It is taking God at his word and trusting in Jesus Christ as being my salvation. Although I am utterly unworthy, of his regard, unquote. It seems amazing to me that we even need to take time to define these words like repent and believe. But some people cannot accept the simplicity of this message of our salvation the simplicity of the cross, that we actually believe that Jesus died for our sins and we're going to go to heaven because he paid for our sins and for that reason alone. They cannot accept this simplicity. So they, they will not even accept the, the common, clear definitions of a word like belief. Well, I hope this answers that question for the final time. If anybody decides they want to ask me to define the word believe again, to, or say, well, it depends on what do you mean by believe, well, I'm just going to send you this video. And uh, I hope this uh, helps you understand it. And for those of you who already understand and believe on Jesus Christ for your salvation, then bless you.
in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.